Hello and welcome to a Bullion RV. My name is Tristan and today on this bright, beautiful, sunny, warm day in Duluth, Minnesota, I'm going to be showing you this brand new 2022 Winnebago Solus Pocket 36A. Now bear with me as we're right next to the highway here with this unit, but again, as you can tell, this unit is not the biggest here. We got some gigantic fifth wheels, a big probably 30 plus foot motorhome that's a class C, but here we have a class B that is 17 feet 10 inches long and can sneak in and out of all the camping spots you want to put it in. This unit again is a class C or class B that sits on the Ram Promaster chassis. It has a 3.6 liter V6 that has a 24 gallon gas tank and can shoot out approximately 280 horsepower with 260 foot pounds of torque. This unit comes in two different colors, but we went with the more universally accepted metallic gray. Up here you have an exhaust from your kitchen, your heat I should say, your 50 amp or your 30 amp service. And then right here is the quick connect to your propane in there if you can see it. You can also access it from this panel without two hands, we're not going to get that open. Down low here you have your dump tank for your 20 gallon gray tank water holder. Backing up, you got a lot going on. Again, this unit's only 18 feet rounding up long, but there's a lot going on inside of it. We're just gonna start with the back doors here. These things can swivel to 180 degrees from close to all the way over here. Every window in this unit has nice shades on them that you can zip up and zip down. That'll give you a nice opportunity to do some urban camping which is basically just camping in broad daylight in plain sight. Again, still talk about the doors. You connect this guy to the one over there. You have a nice little changing area, or maybe you want to shower outside using the spray port right here. You can do that. Down low, you do have a 3,500 pound towing capacity on that hitch. And not only on this door, but also the sliding glass, the sliding door, not the sliding glass door. You have these bug nets. You can zip up and zip down in the summer so you can keep that breeze flowing through but keep the bugs and critters out. We're still outside. Up top, you got two cameras right there. Let's get you nice and close. The one beneath the red light, that's gonna be your actual backup camera. That shows up in the dash up there. Otherwise, the one to the right of it, that dot right there, that is gonna be your live camera coming out of that up there because you kind of lose your sight looking through an actual mirror up there so we'll give you a camera instead how convenient like I was saying before that's how you're gonna access your propane tank back here otherwise this is gonna be that privacy curtain that you're gonna tie between these two rods plenty of storage back here there 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 and then again talk about the freshwater inlets and the hookups your water pump with a few more outlets and while we're right here this is your solar hookup backing up Got your Coleman Mach AC at the very top right there. Right in front of that, we're not gonna see it. But you do have a 100, 170 watt solar panel up there with the ability to add about, I think you can cap it off at 550 watts of solar between the plug and plays up top and then also that solar inlet right there. So plenty of opportunity to use the sun to your advantage if you want to. Otherwise, as you have probably noticed, it is a Murphy bed right here that I'll show you in a minute how that comes down. But even with that down, you still can fit plenty of gear back here between two bikes, your mountain climbing gear, maybe hunting gear, a lot of stuff you can fit back here. And if you want more security, you do have these L track tie downs, cargo tie downs right here, or anything on a strap down. You got two there and two up there. And speaking of equipment and tie downs, right here, this thing is a door. It is called a molly panel. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about naming it too. What that stands for, in short, is basically a modular, lightweight, load carrying equipment door. A nice door that holds gear. Above it, you have some more connects, your water, fresh water fill with a modular to see what you're at. Otherwise, when that bed is back again, you got a nice workstation right here. Plenty of storage here, and there's some on the adjacent side. And again, another example of these windows that can be shaded off and opened. Otherwise, 
we are gonna put this baby down with one hand. Feast your eyes. So just like that, I'm gonna slide these pads around. If I can. Ah. Okay, maybe you're gonna want two hands for this or maybe some helping hands, you name it. But by the time you're done, you get a nice Murphy bed right there that literally takes seconds to put up with literally one hand. Um, and by the time you're done, you have a 52 by 75 inch bed right there. Otherwise, when that is up, you still have plenty of space and with it down, got more storage up there and some plugins over there. More overhead space, more overhead storage, more outlets. Right there you have um, roof access port to basically get to your Wi-Fi um, if you want to add that to the unit. Wi-Fi 4G satellite capability. Beneath this you have your two burner gas stove top, your sink for those 20 gallons of fresh water. I missed the light, my bad, and more storage right here. Up top you do have your solar charge controller to read that voltage to you. Your tank holder, you guys can even hear me over the wind and the highway once again. It's right next to that. And then last but not least, your Truma heat system. So one thing I didn't really touch on is the fact that this pocket actually has Truma's gold certificate. Essentially, um, what that means is it's very good at not shedding heat when it's cold out or when it's warm. And not only that, but it also works quite quietly and efficiently. Another example of that is all of the um, water hookups and ports are inside the unit. There's another example of why they stay so cool and why it's insulated so well. Across from me here is the uh, very utility friendly dinette. So you can have a dinette for a romantic intimate date. Maybe you just want to eat by yourself and have a nice little workstation. Maybe you want to make a bed out of it, a day sleeper or a sofa. You can do that by dropping that down possibilities are seemingly endless not only that but there is storage on either side with outlets right behind this air compressor that comes with the unit in case you have some tire problems right there and you got cup holders who thought and then the reason why i'm doing this actually a second time is because i completely whiffed on the porta potty it's about three gallons a black tank that you can empty basically anywhere there's a restroom or a rest stop so you got a porta potty quite literally hidden under your dinette. Hence why they have plenty of privacy shades. Otherwise, up in the front cab here, again, you got two seats right below your overhead storage. This is your privacy shades for the actual front windshield up here. Otherwise, here's your infotainment center, your Dodge infotainment center. When I throw this thing in reverse, don't do this at home, kids, but there is your backup camera. Otherwise, your other live action camera is gonna be right here. Nice little setup, easy to use. Dodge. Otherwise, below your propane is your three cubic foot, 12 volt compressor refrigerator, your fridge freezer, up top that colder spot. They even gave you an ice cube maker. Who'd have thought? Lock that up for travel, more outlets. Out here, another track system. I didn't mess with it too much, but you have a nice dining table or utility table of sorts once you level it out. Who knows? Maybe you parked on a hill and you can't level it out and you have to do that. That's probably why it came at that angle. Back up a little bit more. Again, this is the Solus Pocket by Winnebago. It's brand new here, a Boeing RV. There's plenty more things to talk about this unit, but that was just a quick overview. Again, if you have any questions about this unit, please call me, Tristan Akeson here at Bullion RV at 507-923-5675 to answer any questions about this unit. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day. Look forward to seeing you. Bye-bye.